up, PT Kids? It's Miss Jasmine back again. And I am here to bring you week three of our lesson in our series, Missions Around the World. So just to recap from week two, we learned a little bit about missionaries and how they impact the world by sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. So this week, we are going to answer the question, why hasn't everyone heard the gospel? Now, you might be thinking, I mean, Jesus did his thing. He died on the cross and rose again like over 2,000 years ago. And yet we still don't really have access to the whole world knowing about God. So we are going to explore those reasons why and how we can set in motion more people knowing about Jesus, okay? So, why hasn't everyone heard the gospel? So here's one of the reasons. Of the 7.47 billion people alive in the world today, 3.15 billion of them live in unreached people groups with little or no access to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hmm, that's a lot of people. So how many of you knew how many people lived on earth before I even told you? Okay, if you did, you're super smart. Does it surprise you that almost half of them have not heard the gospel? It's, it surprises me too. Yeah, that's a lot of people who haven't heard of Jesus. So why hasn't everyone heard the gospel? So there is still about 1,800 1, languages that do not have a Bible translation. Can you believe that? 1,800 languages still don't have a Bible translated into their language. So there are several reasons why a translation might not be able to, may not be available, including the fact that the language of certain people groups has never been written down. They just talk to each other. They don't have like a written language for their language. So some missionaries actually serve as Bible translators, which means that they are called by God to go into these areas into different um, like cultures and people groups, and they learn their culture, they learn their language, and then they work together to create a written language so that a Bible can be um, put into their language. So that sounds like a lot of work. It is, and it's a high calling to do, but it's highly important. So why hasn't everyone heard the gospel? So people can't read. I know, sounds really simple, but still amazing that over 1 billion adults in the world cannot read. So that could be hard to imagine. Uh, another reason why is that there's no internet access. So only 50% of the world, so that's half of the world, has internet access. So tools that we use currently, like right now, you're watching us on YouTube or on Facebook Live, there's people who don't have access to the internet to even watch a sermon or to actually pull up a cool app and do a devotion or to uh, pull up the Bible and read a verse. They just don't have the technology to do that. Okay, so why hasn't everyone heard the gospel? So there's limited contact. So 81% of Hindus, Muslims, and Buddhists do not know a Christian. They don't have access to Christians. They don't have a Christian friend. They don't have a Christian neighbor. So think about how many people you know who are Christians. Get that thought in your head. You know, you, in your own home, you probably got a few, right? It's hard to go anywhere in the U.S. and just not see a Christian. I think in Canton, there's I can't even count how many churches are right next to each other. They're just right down the street. So it's hard to go a day without even seeing a church, let alone meeting a Christian, right? But there are parts of the world that there aren't any. So someone must be the first to go into that area and be the first Christian that someone meets, right? What do you think it would feel like, though, to be the first Christian in an area? Hmm, something to think about. So why hasn't everyone heard the gospel? So Christianity isn't welcomed everywhere. So every year, at least 216 million Christians experience a high level of extreme persecution. 
So it's just not accepted in their country. And some of their churches, as they might call them, they may be underground. So they meet in secret to just read the Bible, let alone meet and worship God. So, for example, uh, in Russia, you are only able to talk about religion in areas where you have permission. So more than likely, if you're talking about God in an area you don't have permission to talk about God, you're more than likely going to be thrown in jail. So why hasn't everyone heard the gospel? Not enough missionaries. So we talked about missionaries last week, right? So there's people that not only are they called, but they have to say yes to the call. So we don't have enough people saying yes to the call of God to go out into these areas that people are being are not being reached. So the USA is currently sending 29,000 missionaries to reach the world, but we need more. 29,000 sounds like a lot until you remember that there are over 3 billion people that still haven't been reached with the gospel. So the other reason is that we need more money for missionaries, for missions. Okay, so to reach more people, you need money. You need to give and support missionaries um, and to spread the gospel. So missionaries use donations and money to front for costs to help feed their families and other living expenses, but then to also print and create materials and videos to help spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to others. So let's look at our verse for today. It's in Romans 10, 13 through 14. It says, for whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. How shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? So God uses people, us, we are the hands and feet and the voice of God. We make God tangible and we make the gospel of Jesus Christ tangible to others. So he uses us to spread that gospel. If people don't go and do the work, then how will people come to know God? So here is our bottom line. God can use our lives to reach people who have never heard of the gospel. God has given us one life to live. Don't you want to use it to tell others about him? See, everything that we get in life, whether that is grades in school, getting good grades, that's a great thing to do. But as we talked some weeks or months ago, that doesn't get you into heaven. Being smart doesn't get you into heaven. Being intelligent doesn't get you into heaven. Having the coolest family, having the coolest shoes, having the best TikTok videos, <laughs> those don't get you into heaven. And at the end of the day, that's the one thing that's going to last is our relationship with God and what we have done and what legacy we have left here on earth. So... Don't you want to use most of your life, we will hope all of your life, <laughs> to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ? Uh, maybe we only have to just walk across the cafeteria and tell someone about God so you don't have to hop on a plane and fly to wherever to tell people about Jesus. You can start here in your own world, or perhaps someday you will travel all over the world and tell people about Jesus. So the most important thing, though, is that we do what God is putting in your heart to do. So to start our journey of telling others about Jesus, we have to first be saved. So you just heard more about the gospel today. That's the first step. The second step, I should say, is receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. So we're going to say a prayer together. And once you have said this prayer, Jesus is your Lord and personal Savior, and you are able to start your journey with him. So just repeat after me. Dear Jesus, I am a sinner. Forgive me for the wrong I have done. I want to be saved. I believe you died and rose again. Come into my heart. In your name I pray. Amen. That's it. You're saved. Okay, so I hope that this lesson helped you learn more about the missions around the world and what reasons why everyone hasn't heard of the gospel and why there is still a lot of work to do to tell people about Jesus Christ. So I'm going to give you a little bit of homework. Ask God, how can I share more about you in my world this week? Okay, and I promise you, God will talk to you. As long as you have a sincere heart to listen, you can hear what he's saying to you.
Okay, I will see you next week for our last part of our series in Missions Around the World. See you next time. Bye.